are back. I'm sitting here with Mr. Mike Myers. Oh! 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 <laughs> well, that's sad that you went insane. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the, my mind. Uh, let's talk about the movie, first okay. of all. Uh, doing quite well, I understand. And, uh, yes, that's not real wood. Um, <laughs> this was obviously partly, uh, it, it's an amalgam, but it's partly inspired by the James Bond movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you ever meet one of the James Bonds? I got, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, get very, um, I get very shy when I meet uh, my heroes and stuff, and I got to meet Sean Connery. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know whether he'd be really mad at me because I had said in the press that Austin Powers' chest hair was based on Sean Connery's hair. <laughs> that he is part man and part beast. And I said, <laughs> if you notice, you never see Sean Connery and Bigfoot in the same photograph. You draw the conclusion. Mm -hmm. right, right. And, you know, I just really went on about how hairy he is. And hairy, yeah. Carpet and Broadloom and whatnot. And, and uh, so I didn't know how he would be, but evidently he was, you know, really nice. But, uh, I was at a, this is going to sound so name dropping, I was at a party of Elton John's, and, uh... Funny, I didn't get that invite. <laughs> anyway, continue. Yeah, and, and he said, you know, would you like to meet Sean Connery? And I said, oh, of course. Um, and uh, he's like, uh, you know, it was at, in Cannes, again, I know, that sounds very exotic. Yeah. And uh, he said, uh, are you enjoying Cannes? I said, yeah. That's the best I could do. And then he said, it. good luck with the film, old man. And I was like, thanks. And she's, my wife, Robin, says, what's with the voice? The, thanks. <laughs> so all night long, she just kept saying, yeah, thanks. <laughs> she said, I married Oscar Wilde, evidently. A it's brilliant a, wit. Yes, it's an intellectual salon in our house. <laughs> yeah, thanks. What, what, what's another, like, hero that you've met? I met uh, De Niro. De Niro, yeah, very I cool. Yeah, I met uh, Robert De Niro. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Martin Scorsese had come to Saturday Night Live. Remember, he would come all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and so I kind of met him, and, I, and another hero, and, but I had gotten over that, and he was like, uh, he said, uh, Mike, would you uh, like to meet Bobby? And I said, yeah, of course. Uh, have you not, you've not met Bobby before? I said, no, no, that's great. And Robert De Niro had his coat over his arm. And he's looking around that, with that face of the, you know, I heard things face. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard things. He's looking around like this. And then he says, I hear things. And he says, uh, uh, Bobby, uh, have you met Mike Myers? And he just goes, no. <laughs> and that was it. I never did meet him. Never met him. So it was, he, just wanted, he just wanted, you know, the truth. He wanted the answer if right, he'd right. actually, if we had met. And the answer was no. No, We hadn't no. met Nicely and left done. It at that. And I, but I had that bad gape thing. And again, Robin was there just to mock yeah. me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, see you later. And that was it. And just, it's hard to meet these people. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually a very shy person, so it's hard to, you know, to meet people who are so incredibly famous, like meeting Niagara Falls or something. Or right, right. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I mean, they're so crazy famous, you know. Niagara Falls will be nicer to you, I'm sure. Snub me. <laughs> yeah. Eiffel one. Tower did not give me the time of day. <laughs> right, really. What you a know? creep. I know. Tell we, me about uh, it. We should show a, uh, we have a, he's sneaking up on you. Yeah. We have a uh, clip here. <laughs> okay. A clip here from the film. Do you need to set this up for anybody uh, who hasn't seen the movie yet? Well, um, yes. Uh, Dr. Evil in the movie has a clone made of himself that's one-eighth the size. Right. Named, um, God bless you. Thank you. Named uh, Mini-Me. Mini-Me, yes. Very so, funny. It's an encounter with Mini-Me. An encounter with Mini-Me. Let's take a look at this clip okay. from Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Mini-Me, are you hungry? Something to eat. Not even a hot pocket. An ego. No, no, we don't gnaw on our kitty. Leave mi no. Leave mini Mr. Bigglesworth alone. Just love him, stroke him. Well, you don't want to give away too much. No, no. People coming in paying for it. That's it. You know what's hilarious is that. This is not a joke. This is an indication of the power of this movie. Mr. Bigglesworth is on the cover of a magazine. We find out. It's on the cover of this cat, cat magazine. Uh, I just want to point out that no nair 
or, or any sort of hair <laughs> removal device was used in the making of this motion picture. That cat, that's a... That's, that's the a, ugliest cat. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I think that's the, that's the nicest cat. Yeah, you're right, that's you're right. It's Ted Nugent. <laughs> that's the cat's name, is Ted Nugent. Oh. And he's hairless, and it feels like you're holding somebody's ass. <laughs> So I stand corrected. It's a beautiful cat. Yeah, it's a beautiful cat. Given that new information, yes. Uh, you, you play a uh, a character in the movie. Who I didn't. I didn't. I got. Uh, I'd known you a long time. I did not know this was you when the character first comes on screen. Yes, fat bastard. Fat yes. bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Who first of all. Let me just point out, you can say, you're saying the character's name here to, yes, tonight. because he's the incorrect weight for his height and he was born out of wedlock. Yes. <laughs> but this morning... Yes. This morning on Regis and Kathy I Lee... Re, uh, I mean, Kat, Regis isn't there. Yes. Th 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 you know, he, he ducked out of town. But Kathy Lee... I, the, she, could not... Was freaked out by the name Fat Bastard. Yes. So she said Fat B. Which uh, I thought was in, like a, a rapper or something. <laughs> and... Uh, and I just thought, well, what if, you know, the people who are, did the press junket for Bastard out of Carolina, was it B out of Carolina? Right, right. I didn't, well. She couldn't handle it. No. But it's later at night now. You, uh, I, in, this, in, 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 this, in this movie, you're wearing an amazing prosthetic. Yeah. Uh, which makes you, uh, what, 300 pounds heavier than you normally are. Yeah, it, uh, it actually is a uh, metric ton we were going for. Mm -hmm. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we were going for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was designed by Stan Winston, and he designed this fat suit, and uh, it was, uh, it took seven hours, and it was kind of like flying to, you know, Paris and waking up a 500-pound Scotsman. Right. And uh, the thing is that it was very hard to uh, go to the bathroom in it. I would think, yeah. You, yeah. you don't want to go to the bathroom in it. No, you no, want to, no. yeah. Uh, wearing it. Yeah, whilst, yeah. Whilst wearing it. And, right. Um, they had to uh, attach uh, a, uh, a catheter to, yeah, yeah, and it got tangled. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm in this thing for already, like, for, like, 10 hours, I'm in this thing, and it stinks, too, because it's sulfur-based. Right. And my wife, Robin, came to the set, and I was like, Robin, <laughs> can you help me, please? <laughs> So she had to reach into my body cavity. I'm like, <laughs> this thing. It was like a little flap. She has to reach up. And if that isn't love, I don't know what is. And she's pulling, there's a whole infrastructure, and I'd go, no, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it! That's not it! <laughs> Could be it. <laughs> Definitely it. Then she got it, and, uh, you know, it was hideous. Yeah. I'm telling you, it, it, the infantilization was complete. <laughs> okay. It was hideous. I, we know way too much now. No, I, there's more. And then another... <laughs> okay. There was this one time... There's one time. Uh, you know, people must be... I mean, you can't even start thinking about another one of these movies yet, right? You're, just, you're not even thinking about that. I, I'm not thinking... I, I, I had... And this is... I probably... No lie, this is the most fun I've ever had, so... Doing this show. Doing this show right now. <laughs> Sitting right here. The most. <laughs> Sitting right here. Yeah, we're going to take that quote out of context. The uh, most fun. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, of course, in theaters now. Mike, very happy for you. Mike Thank Myers, you so everybody. Thank you. Nice of you to come. Julian Lennon is coming up. We'll take a break.